What could you achieve if you stopped caring about what people think? Like really stopped caring? How would you be showing up differently in your life? What different results would you be creating if you just were not bothered about what anyone else thought? In today's video, I'm gonna teach you two effective methods for actually stopping caring what people think that I've used in my life that truly have helped me so much. If you don't know who I am, my name's Sarah. I'm a high performance coach. And on this channel, I help you take more action towards your goals in your life and your business. So let's dive in. I am an incredibly intentional person. I try to make all of my decisions based on what I actually wanna do rather than what the status quo is. So when I was 14, I went vegetarian, even though I didn't have anyone in my family who was vegetarian. And then when I was 20, I went vegan, even though I didn't know any vegans. I've never had a drink of alcohol in my entire life, and I'm almost 28 years old. And I also share my business revenue online publicly. Because of all of these decisions that kind of go against the status quo, I have opened myself up to face a lot of opinions. So the two methods that I'm gonna teach you today for stopping caring what people think were really something that I discovered out of necessity to try to overcome some of the feelings of judgment that I was feeling for doing all of these things and making decisions that were against the status quo. So whether you've made a decision that you feel like you're getting judged for, or you want to make a decision but you're afraid of being judged for it, then keep listening because these two methods are really going to help you stop caring what people think and actually go after the things that you truly want to go after in your life. Okay, so before I can tell you what the two methods are and you can decide which one you want to use, you have have to first know these three things about other people's thoughts. Firstly, you can never know what somebody else is thinking, ever. Even if they tell you, they could be lying, right? You've probably done this before where you've thought something and said something completely different. You do not know what anyone else is thinking at any time. Secondly, you cannot control what people think. Your actions do not control someone else's thoughts. No matter how much we want them to, you cannot change what someone else is thinking. The only person who gets to decide what they are thinking is them. The same as you are in control of what you think and no one else can be the decider of your thoughts, you cannot control anyone else's thoughts. Thirdly, because you can never really be sure what someone else is thinking and you can't control their thoughts, all of their opinions are actually just what you think they think. They are coming from your own mind. That means that you are the master of everyone else's thoughts within your own mind. You can't control what they're thinking, but you are the one coming up with what you think they're thinking all the time. Every single thought that you think that someone else is thinking about you is actually coming from your own brain. Now I promise you this is good news because it means that you get to write the script for what everyone else in your life is thinking about you. And you might think, okay, well that sounds delusional. I'm not gonna make up thoughts about what other people are thinking. Except that that is exactly what your brain is already doing because every single thought that you have about what other people think about you has been generated inside your own brain. So you get to choose. Do you want the autopilot version that your brain is bringing you about what everyone else thinks that is still made up? Or do you wanna make up a version that makes you feel the way you want to feel. Right now, you're just under the illusion that what you're thinking that other people think about you is true. We can never know if what your brain is thinking about other people is actually true. Because even if they tell you, they could be lying. There is no way to verify that what you think other people are thinking is actually true about you. So the ultimate key to stop caring about what people think about you is to start making conscious decisions about what you think that other people think about you instead of letting your brain make those decisions for you. So now I'm going to teach you the two different methods that you can use to apply these concepts and stop caring about what people think. If you're enjoying this video, then definitely hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Okay, so the first method to stop caring about what people think is to choose that people are thinking good things about you. You can do this at any time. You can just decide right now that instead of thinking that they're thinking bad things, that they're actually thinking good things because you do not know. You cannot possibly know, even if they tell you. So all you know is what your brain is bringing you. So you get to override what your brain is telling you and choose to think that they're thinking good things. 
When I was in high school, my friends and I would joke that if we texted a guy and he didn't text back, he was obviously so excited that he fainted and that's why he couldn't respond. And even though it was silly and we didn't know if it was true or not, we still chose to think that he was thinking good things instead of choosing to think that he was thinking bad things and that's why he didn't reply. I did this with alcohol too. Sometimes when I would go to a party, someone would say, why aren't you drinking? And I would assume that they were thinking good things. I would assume they were thinking, wow, that's kind of cool. It's awesome that she can just do what she wants to do. I wish I could do that. Instead of thinking that they're thinking, well, that's uncool. I chose to think that they were thinking good things about me. So that is method number one, choose to think that people are thinking good things. But sometimes it can be really hard to think that people are thinking good things about you. And that is when you use method number two, which is to think that people are thinking bad things and that they're wrong about you. You get to choose that, okay, they think something bad about me and they're just wrong. They just don't get it. And it is not your responsibility to get them to change their mind. Do not try to get them to change their mind because if you do, you may not actually change their mind and you will be stopping yourself from doing the thing that you really want to be doing and enjoying your life, going after the goal or just enjoying the way you want to do things because you're constantly trying to get other people to change their minds. Let them be wrong about you because the truth is it's okay if people are wrong about you you probably have wrong ideas about other people all the time and that's okay if you try to twist yourself and change yourself to be something so that they will change their mind about you you may not actually achieve your goal and you probably will not actually change their mind because you cannot control what anybody else is thinking there is a beautiful quote from the book a course in miracles and it says in my defenselessness my safety lies. And I love that because it's basically saying as soon as you put up a fight, as soon as you try to change someone's beliefs or their thoughts, that is when you start to create challenges for yourself. You are the one then fighting. Whereas as soon as you relax, as soon as you let go, you just let them be wrong. Okay, I know the truth about me. I don't need you to think the truth about me because I know it. You put down your guard, you put down all of your weapons and you stop fighting and you get to relax. So those are your options. You can choose to think that people are thinking good things about you or that they're thinking bad things about you and you can let them be wrong. Judgment is an emotion and it comes from what you are thinking. It is not coming from outside of you, from what someone else says or from what look they gave you. It is simply coming from within you. So if you're experiencing judgment and you no longer want to be experiencing judgment, change your thoughts. Either decide that they're thinking good things or decide that they're thinking bad things and that they're wrong about you and that's okay. Okay, so here's my challenge for you. Start consciously choosing what you think other people think. Instead of letting your brain do it unconsciously for you, make a decision deliberately. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing that you think people are thinking, choose it on purpose. It will free you once you realize that you are in control of what you think other people think. Let me know in the comments which method you're going to try. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will talk to you in the next video.